Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. I'm Melissa and today I wanted to share with you uh, my new favorite foundation and that is the Urban Decay Naked, Stay Naked foundation. Uh, this is my favorite. Uh, so I just wanted to go ahead and apply this for you and show you what a beautiful foundation this is. Uh, but before that, don't forget to uh, subscribe to our channel, please. Um, we'd really appreciate it. And well, I would. Um, so, okay, so now this foundation, I've actually filmed um, a video and then I deleted it by accident. So I just, I've been wearing this foundation for a few days, actually, maybe four days and I love it. it is my new favorite totally new favorite uh, so it is $39 and this is what the bottle looks like it has my fingerprints all over it um, it is plastic and it is like a really thick durable plastic it is so pretty I think um, and it's a stay naked weightless liquid foundation up to 24 hour wear of course nobody wears their foundation up to 24 hours um, well, not me, maybe people do, um, but I usually wear my foundation for a good 10 hour, 12 hours, um, sometimes just depending on, um, you know, what kind of day I have, but so this foundation, I did get it at Sephora. It is $39. It's a vegan buildable medium coverage liquid foundation with a real skin matte finish that lasts up to 24 hours. It's a medium coverage finish is matte it's good for normal dry combination oily skin and it comes in 50 shades designed with nine shade intensities three master tones and seven undertones this waterproof long wear foundation feels like second skin thanks to its breathable formula it feels better and looks better with the stay true color which minimizes the appearance of pores so that was my issue um the foundations that i have been wearing um some that i actually you know have been loving i feel like my pores i don't know if it's just the summer my um, pores and rosacea have been a little bit bad so my pores around this area have been um i mean just so visible so and i get i'm beginning to get very oily like even more oily and I know it's just because of the summer but um yeah so like a foundation I've been loving is the Bobbi Brown uh skin longwear weightless foundation this one has an SPF of 15 and this one is a full coverage I really like it if I use it with a beauty blender it kind of thins it out and but I do get oily very quick with this and then I feel like I start to look textured and that's my issue with I, a lot of my favorite foundations like this L'Oreal Infallible as well and then my Fenty so those are all my favorite foundations and I feel like they look good up until about maybe hour six and then I start getting a little oily and then it breaks up and that's my issue um it starts to break up and then I start looking textured and it almost looks dirty so I just wanted to show you um how this applies and I can already tell you um, it lasts forever. It lasts up to, I was wearing it 12 hours and I think the first day and at probably five hours, six hours, I just took my beauty blender and kind of dabbed it in like away the oil a little bit and, um, it held up. It like didn't take off any coverage. So, um, then at our eight or ten capri said my face still looked really good and then at hour 12 is when i took it off and it's my skin still looked like skin it was just so nice so even if i have a little bit of oil um it didn't break up so good thing so anyways i am going to prime my skin with the tatcha's satin skin mist and this is has actually been keeping me pretty matte so I just kind of drench my face like this and pat it in. Um, okay, so um, the primer, I just let it soak into my skin. I mean, well, the setting spray. I just really love it for as a primer. So when I went to Sephora, it was kind of hard for me to find a shade. I don't think their lighting is the best and I already had makeup on so I was just trying to match like to my 
to my neck because I do have a tan right now. Um, so normally in like a foundation, I'm like NC30 and that sometimes is too um, yellow for me or orangey kind of, you know, color. It is a little warm. Um, and in the Fenty, I'm a 240 normally. So uh, that's like actually the color of my skin, right, my face right now, but my body is dark. So this one I got in a 51 NN. So the yellow, the WY, that one uh, looked a little too orange. I was pulling a little too yellow and I'm very olivey too. So oh, I just dyed my hair guys. So let's not look at that. Just ignore it. Um, okay, so I'm just doing one big pump. And I'm telling you, this is just how I do my foundation, normal. I just did like a little half of a pump. Okay. So I'm just going to dab it in. Okay, it looks much darker in person. I know, always on camera. I think it's my lights that just make it look lighter. Oh, looks like I have a... Just don't look at that. I <laughs> do a very good job of dyeing my hair. It's a hard to get around my brows, but I hate to be on camera without my brows. But I really don't have any. And I'm actually looking for a good, long-lasting brow. I don't like pomade because I don't like it to look too dark or harsh. I kind of add pomade. Um, to my brows after powder or pencil but okay so that's the coverage I feel like it is a medium coverage that I mean, you can kind of still see my skin through it oh and my dye I'll type that okay so I like a medium coverage for every day I don't like to go out with the full coverage so I mean I like it I feel like it's a medium and I can probably build it up but I'm not gonna do that okay so that's the foundation and then I will go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and and come back and let you see how everything is laying everything just goes on so nicely so I will be back okay I'm um, just one thing I'm actually just doing my powdering my concealer um, I feel like the foundation does dry and it's not like sticky so you don't need to powder your entire face if you don't need to and I usually don't I usually with all the bronzers and blushes and everything if it, other products I put on my face I really don't powder other than my under eyes and um, my chin so just to let you know Okay guys, um, okay so I'm back. I just put on a little bit of my normal face products. Like I just used a little bit of bronzer and blush and gonna try to cover the side of my face and some mascara and um, like a bronzer for, uh, for my eyeshadow today because we're just gonna be at a friend's house in the pool and I'm gonna be, I didn't wanna have too much makeup on. So anyways, um, everything goes on so nicely with this foundation. I absolutely love it. I think it's good for mature skin. I think it would be good for brides. I just think that this is like the best foundation, my favorite so far. So um, if you're oily, remember just to keep a like your beauty sponge that you use that day, you know, to do your foundation, concealer, powder, and then take it with you, put it in your makeup bag, and then kind of just pat throughout 
maybe at like hour five when you start to feel a little bit oily and it just pushes everything back in and it just makes your face look refreshed again you can add a little more blush or whatever but the foundation does not move i feel like the foundation stays and like i said it is my new favorite i'm gonna go get a few um quite a few shades uh, to put in my kit for brides because I think it would be beautiful. So anyways, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you liked this video. hope you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, please. And um, we'll see you next time. Thank you.